and uh, tollens reagent uh, it, it gives a silver mirror with uh, aldehydes uh, a silver mirror we get as an observation with aldehydes and it gives no reaction with ketones so both these reagents are used to distinguish between aldehydes and ketones when we have a sample of each but don't know which one is which which one is an aldehyde or which one is a ketone so we can use either of these two and we can correctly identify which one is which and these are so for now what we need to know is that they are weak oxidizing agents i'll be talking more about them when i do a video on carbonyl compounds for the as level curriculum uh, but for now what you need to know is that uh, these are weak oxidizing agents so uh, to oxi to oxidize methanoic acid we need weak oxidizing uh, oxidizing agents like this like these two these two so felling solution and tollens reagent they are weak oxidizing agents and now let's move forward we can also use uh, potassium dichromate which is k2cr2o7 potassium dichromate it is also a weak oxidizing agent so we can also use this to oxidize methanoic acid now let's move forward so we have ethane dioic acid over here so let me just first draw the structure very quickly of ethane dioic acid this is ethane dioic acid and uh, uh, we have it uh, the eth comes from the two carbon atoms and there are two acid groups so obviously it's a dioic acid so it becomes ethane dioic acid and it can also oxidize there are only two carboxylic acids which oxidize and they are these two so uh, when we oxidized ethane we, when we oxidize ethane dioic acid we also get co2 and h2 o again uh, in uh, in in the case of methanoic acid we got co2 and h2 o and in this case as well just make sure you balance it properly and uh, for this the only difference is that we need to use strong oxidizing agents because it's it does not it is uh, it needs a lot of uh, it, it needs a strong oxidizing agent it cannot be oxidized by the tollens and fellings reagents because obviously it's uh, it's it has two acid groups so it's need, it needs a stronger oxidizing agent and as the, the strongest oxidizing agent we have used in our as and a levels is potassium manganate kmno4 so we often use kmno4 as an oxidizing agent agent and uh, it can be used to oxidize eth oxidize ethane dioic acid now uh, you can see the equation over here uh, we have we can see how the mno the manganate ions are working to oxidize the uh, ethane dioic acid and this is it for the oxidation and you can learn this equation you can um, you, you can also balance it yourself it's up completely up to you we'll be doing some more some more of things like these and of balancing with charges in electrochemistry but for now what you need to know is that uh, this is this is what we often use for oxidizing ethane dioic acid now let's move further So acyl chlorides and their reactions. Now I told you we will be focusing a lot on acyl chlorides, and the, this section is completely dedicated to acyl chlorides. So what is an acyl chloride? It is this group, a C double bonded to a to an O, and also single bonded to a Cl. This is called an acyl chloride, and then the the the, the three bonds in total. And the fourth bond can be formed with the rest of the chain, the alkyl chain or whatever it is, the rest of the molecule. So this group is called the acyl group. It is very important because it is one of the most reactive groups in organic chemistry. The one of the most reactive groups and this reactivity makes it very useful for forming different substances. And now let's see why it is more, more uh, so reactive. So... Uh, for example, uh, let's take this molecule as an example. R can be any side chain. We have two highly electronegative groups attached to this carbon atom. Let's label this carbon atom as uh, not label, just let's call it the acyl carbon. Uh, we have two 
highly electronegative groups attached to the acyl carbon. We have an oxygen double bonded to it and we have a chlorine atom double bonded.